good evening assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our sea specimen paper series here at the sea results academy so we are on number 29 which reads a football game started at 4 10 pm and ended at 6 pm there was a 15 minute break after the first half of the game how much time was spent on actual play okay so in order to work this question out we're going to have to figure out how much time the football game uh, lasted for inclusive of the 15 minute break and then when we subtract the 15 minute break from it we're going to get the amount of time that was spent on actual play all right so we can begin by subtracting uh 4 10 from 6 p.m right and that will give us the amount of time that was actually spent inclusive of the break Okay, so we're going to have to regroup a little bit here because we can't take 10 from 0. So we're going to borrow some minutes from the hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 10 minutes from 60 minutes is going to give us 50 minutes. And 4 from 5 is 1. So the duration of the game was 1 hour and 50 minutes inclusive of the break. So now I'm going to subtract 15 minutes from the one hour and 15 minutes and that is going to leave me with one hour and 35 minutes all right so here we are with number 30 josh parked 147 centimeters away from the fire hydrant how much further should Josh move if he must park two meters away from the fire hydrant? Okay, so he's parked 147 centimeters away, and we want to know how much further he must move to get to two meters away from the fire hydrant. So what we'll do here is that we'll convert the two meters into centimeters, right? And we must recall that there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So two meters therefore is equal to 200 centimeters and now to determine how much more he must move to get to 200 centimeters away we're going to subtract 147 from 200 and that is going to leave me with 53 centimeters all right 53 centimeters now the question actually requires the answer to be in meters so we're going to have to convert is 53 centimeters into meters and we know that again once more there are 100 centimeters in a meter so therefore we'll have to divide 53 by 100 because we're going here from a smaller unit to a bigger unit that will require division now we must remember when we divide by 100 We'll move the invisible decimal point that's at the end of every whole number uh, two places to the left okay so when we are dealing with multiplying or dividing by powers of 10 we either move the decimal point to the right when we multiply or we move it to the left when we divide by the number of zeros at the end of the divisor right so 100 has two zeros and we're going to move it one two spaces to the left so proper form would dictate that when we are giving this answer, we include the zero before the decimal point. So we're going to put 0 0.53 meters. So our answer for this question is that Josh should move 0 0.53 meters further away in order to get to 2 meters away from the fire hydrant. So we're going to keep it short for this weekend edition, the Saturday edition of the SEA Specimen Paper Series. So I'll leave it at that for today. And we'll continue with number 31 in tomorrow's episode. Okay, so do have a great evening. Remember to like this video, to subscribe to us on YouTube, to follow us on Instagram, and to like our Facebook page. And to, of course, share it with your friends and family. Do take care. Assalamu alaikum. I'll see you tomorrow. God willing.